Good evening, Raider students and parents, and welcome to our academic awards. We are sorry that we cannot be here with you in person to have all of our families here to share in these awards and scholarships, but we are certainly still happy that we're able to present this for you, and we hope that you will enjoy our presentation. This is a night in which we recognize academic achievement and help students continue their education beyond Richmond Senior High School. It's now time to start presenting our scholarships. First up for us will be Mr. Rob Ransom. Our first award this evening goes to the is the Rockingham Rotary Scholarship. The Rockingham Rotary Club established this four-year scholarship to assist Richmond County students graduating from Richmond Senior High School to attend a university. Each year, the Rotary Club strives to offer one scholarship currently valued at $12,000 for a senior to attend the University of North Carolina, university of North Carolina institutions or a four-year North Carolina private nonprofit institution. Recipients are selected based on multiple factors, including academic achievement, leadership, integrity, community involvement, financial need, and the ability to communicate effectively. Scholarship recipients in good academic standing will be able to receive the scholarship up to a maximum of eight consecutive semesters at the same university. This year's winner is Thomas Andrew Davis. Our next scholarship is the Future in Healthcare Scholarship a one-time $500 scholarship given by Mr. Joey and Dr. Mary Catherine Marie to a graduating senior who plans to pursue a career in, health, in the healthcare field. The recipients this year go to Noah Cole Jordan and Kennedy Elizabeth Gerald. Our next scholarship is the Jeremy Henson Memorial Scholarship. This is a $500 one-time scholarship given by the East Rockingham Fire Department. Recipients this year are Samuel Zachary Sharp and Amber Lynn Henson. Our next scholarship is Working for a Better Community Scholarship. This is a $500 one-time scholarship given by the East Rockingham Men's Club. The recipient of this scholarship is Mr. Evan Lawrence Baxley and Amber Lynn Henson. Now Mr. Butler will continue presenting awards. The next scholarship we have is the David A. Spears Memorial Scholarship. David Spears was a great family man who was actively involved in many areas of his community. He served his local church in many areas and his ministry work and his specialty was in sound and media ministry. He was a great outdoorsman and he enjoyed time hunting, skiing, fishing, and running. He was also a Raider fan and he loved attending the games. This scholarship is given in his memory to assist students with their educational expenses as they go further in their education. This one-time award is in the amount of $350. The recipients this year of the David Spears Scholarship are Noah Cole Jordan, Kennedy Elizabeth Gerald, Carly Elizabeth Lambeth, and Dallas Edward Cowick. Congratulations to all of these students. Our next scholarship is the Jean Bellamy Memorial Scholarship. This is a one-time $500 scholarship sponsored by the Rockingham Optimist Club in memory of Mr. Gene Bellamy. This year's recipient is Thomas Andrew Davis. Congratulations to Drew. Next up, we have the Elrita McKnight Scott Scholarship. She was a woman who was knocked off balance when her husband abandoned her with 12 children in the early 1960s. Although she endured a lot of pain, suffering, judgments, ostracism, letdowns, and disappointments, her self-perseverance, faith, and prayer helped her overcome these obstacles and challenges. She went on to become a loved mother, friend, and a respectable woman in the community. She would raise many successful children on her own. This scholarship is being awarded to a student who has overcome personal, physical, or mental challenges. They've used these obstacles to persevere, gain strength, and the courage to move on with their lives and not use them as a crutch. They've become good students with great hearts. 
They have also exemplified the willingness to help others in need without bias or judgment. This is a one-time $500 scholarship, and it goes to Treshawn Marquette Robinson. Next, we have the Audrey Morgan Memorial Scholarship. This is a one-time $500 gift given by Franklin Morgan in memory of his grandmother for a student to attend RCC. This year, the $500 award goes to Amber Lynn Henson. Next scholarship is the Community Service Award Scholarship. The Christian Clothes Closet awards two $1,000 scholarships for students who wish to further their education through a community college or a university. A requirement is for students to be highly involved in community service. Our two recipients this year, Annie Blake Bartlett and Valerie Nicole Standridge. Congratulations to both young ladies. Now we have the Johnny Henry Little Scholarship. This is a one-time award of $500 to students who are planning to attend a two or four year college or university. Student must have participated in community service. The recipients this year, Mycena Patterson, Treshawn Marquette Robinson, and Ananda Helena Dixon. Congratulations to all three students. Next, Ms. Wendy Wallace will present our following scholarships. Our next scholarship is the Mary L. Quick Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship commemorates Mary L. Quick, who was a quiet but strong leader in her family, church, and her community. She was a true advocate for education, pursuing and completing her high school diploma and post-secondary education well into her adult years, all while encouraging and supporting her children in their educational pursuits. This is a one-time $1,000 scholarship for students planning to further their education. The recipients of this scholarship are Evan Lawrence Baxley, Carly Elizabeth Lambeth, and Noah Cole Jordan. Our next scholarship is the PD Electric Cooperation Awareness Scholarship. PD Electric is a member-owned cooperative that provides reliability, reliable electricity and related services while focusing on value, quality customer service, and enhancing life in the communities that we serve. From economic development to youth tours and scholarships, PD Electric believes in giving back to the community, and one of the ways we do this is providing a means for college-bound seniors to continue their education through the PD Electric Awareness Committee Scholarship Program. Each year, PD Electric awards $1,000 scholarships to outstanding seniors throughout the service territory. This year's recipients are Jaden Lynn Johnson, Treshawn Marquant Robinson, and Noah Cole Jordan. Our next award is the Outstanding Health Science Award. This one-time $500 scholarship is sponsored by First Health of the Carolinas. The recipient of this award is Kennedy Elizabeth Gerald. Our next scholarship is the Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Scholarship. Delta Sigma Theta was founded on the campus of Howard University in 1913 by 22 enlightened women who represented the epitome of sisterhood, scholarship, and service. The sorority currently has a membership of 250,000 women making it the largest African-American women's organization in the world. The Laurenburg chapter is committed to helping young people succeed academically. This one-time $750 award goes to Layla Monique Wall. The SCCU People Helping People Scholarship. The SCCU Foundation established the People Helping People four-year scholarship program to help North Carolina public high school students attend college by awarding recipients with $10,000 to assist with the cost of college. The SECU Foundation takes an active role in assisting communities across North Carolina and truly be, believes in people helping people. Although this scholarship program wishes to recognize academic achievement, it has a much broader purpose, recognizing leadership, integrity, and community involvement. 
The recipients of this scholarship are Evan Lawrence Baxley and Kara Riley Simmons. Mr. Butler is up to present the next awards. Next, we have the Cole Foundation Scholarship Awards. The Cole Foundation annually awards up to $4,000 for four consecutive years to deserving Richmond County High School graduates to attend a four-year institution. This is done through the Cole Scholarship Fund and it provides access to higher education and encourages more students in Richmond County to complete their undergraduate studies. The foundation also awards $7,500 per year for a high school graduate who has demonstrated aptitude and career potential in the visual arts through the Sally Cole Visual Arts Scholarship Program. These scholarships are a part of the Cole Foundation's effort to give back to the community and to ensure that students of Richmond County have all the opportunities they need to enrich their lives through post-secondary education. The $4,000 per year Cole Foundation scholarships go to Derek Isaiah Allred, Annie Blake Bartlett, Jardane Tillman, and Giselle Ojeda. The Sally, School, the Sally Cole Scholarship awards $7,500 per year for four years to a high school graduate from Richmond County that has the potential and the aptitude for visual arts. This is called the Sally Cole Visual Arts Scholarship Program. This award goes to Caroline Rose Freeman. And if anyone saw her artwork that she presented during Arts Alive, saw her drawings, you certainly would know why she's won this award. And we look forward to seeing her work in the future. Next, we have the Ed Ormsby Memorial Scholarship. Mr. Ormsby was a loved member of the community and loved by his family. He was involved with the school system for 37 years Education was his passion. He was a pillar for our community and is greatly missed. This scholarship is given to assist students with their educational dreams and goals. It is sponsored by the Richmond County Principals and Assistant Principals Association. It is a one-time scholarship in the amount of $600. The recipients this year are Noah Cole Jordan and Kennedy Elizabeth Gerald. Next, we have the Hometown Heroes Scholarship. This is a one-time $500 scholarship that is sponsored and given by the class of 2005 from Richmond Senior High School. This $500 scholarship goes to Treshawn Marquette Robinson. Next, we have the National Beta Scholarship. The National Beta encourages members to continue education beyond high school. They do this through their national scholarship program. Beta members are not only high academic achievers, they're also leaders and very service-minded individuals. Grades in SAT and ACT scores help determine the beta scholars, but it is also leadership and service activities that draw winners to the top. With over a half a million members, one of our very own was selected as a top beta in the country. This student exemplifies the beta ideals of achievement, leadership, character, and service. Congratulations to our national beta scholarship winner, Carly Elizabeth Lambeth. Our next scholarships will be presented by Mr. Ransom. Our next scholarship is the Roger E. Martin Extra Effort Scholarship. This is presented by Iron Horse Auction Company. Established, they established this scholarship in memory of Rod, Roger E. Martin. It is intended for a student who is not at the top of their class, but for one that has worked to come from behind, achieve success through hard work, dedication, and extra effort. The scholarship is in, is in the amount of $1,000 and is given in hopes of helping a student reach their goals by furthering their education. This year's recipient is Joseph Taylor <clears throat> Our next scholarship is the Charles and Claudette Brownlee Athletic Scholarship. This is a one-time $1,000 scholarship sponsored by the Richmond County Booster Club. 
honoring longtime Raider fans and supporters, Charles and Claudette Brownlee. Mr. Brownlee was our first original Mr. Raider, attending all the Raider foot, all Raider football games and cheering on our team. Mr. Brownlee was a devoted teacher. Miss Brownlee was a devoted teacher at Richmond Senior High for many years before her retirement. Recipients of this award are Evan Lawrence Baxley and Haley Page Miller. Our next scholarship is the HOSA Club Scholarship. This is a one-time scholarship of $900 sponsored by One Blood. The recipient of this scholarship is Samantha Noel Oxendine. Our next scholarship is the Margaret Williams Health Science Scholarship. The Richmond County Women's Club established this nursing scholarship many years ago in memory of its founding member, members, Margaret H. Williams. From 1952 until her retirement in 1989, Miss Williams served as the delivery room supervisor and then director of nursing and director of community relations at Richmond Memorial Hospital. Her love of nursing lives on through the scholarship valued at $1,000. The recipient of this scholarship is Noah Cole Jordan. Our next scholarship is the Kristen Rankin Memorial Athletic Scholarship. This is a $1,000 scholarship and is given by Mike and Andy Kessler in memory of their daughter who was tragically killed in a car accident. It is awarded to a female athlete who has maintained at least a B average and has played varsity sport, a varsity sport at Richmond Senior High. This year, the recipient must have a, and demonstrate a strong and good character and has proven to be a leader at Richmond and in the community. This year's recipient is Alexis Sweeney. Next will be Ms. Wendy Wallace to present the next award. Our next scholarship is the Reginald Vance McCahan Memorial Scholarship. The Reginald Vance McCahan Memorial Scholarship was created to aid students wishing to further their education beyond high school. Presently, this is a $1,000 scholarship for students planning to attend a four-year college or university. The recipients for this scholarship are Derek Isaiah Allred, Noah Cole Jordan, and Treshawn Marquant Robinson. The next scholarship is the Charlie Martin Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is sponsored by the Rockingham Civitan Club to a senior who plans to attend a four-year school. The student must have high academic achievements, extracurricular activities, and financial need. This is a one-time award in the amount of $1,000. The recipient of this scholarship is Thomas Andrew Davis. The next scholarship is the J.W. Mask Junior Scholarship. One time, this is a one-time scholarship in the amount of $500 given by the alumni chapter of CHHS awarded to a student planning to attend a two or four year college or university. The recipient of this award is Sweetney Alexis Strong. Our next award is the Halter-Wonger Williamson Memorial Scholarship. This is a $1,000 scholarship offered through the Hamlet Lions Club, and the recipients for this scholarship are Evan Lawrence Baxley and Amaya Sherell Griffin. Our next award is the DAR Good Citizen Award. The DAR Good Citizens Program and Scholarship is sponsored by the Daughters of the American Revolution. It is intended to encourage and reward the qualities of dependability, service, leadership, and patriotism. Patriotism. This year's recipient is Kara Riley Simmons. Our next scholarship is the Florence Kidder PD Region Scholarship. This is a one-time $1,000 scholarship sponsored by the National Society of Colonial Dames of America. The recipient of this scholarship is Carly Elizabeth Lambeth. Our next scholarship is the Delta Kappa Gamma Scholarship. This is a one-time $300 scholarship sponsored by Delta Kappa Gamma, and this year's recipient is Edie Ray Bryant. 
Our next scholarship is the Emmanuel S. Douglas Scholarship. This one-time scholarship of $500 is awarded to students planning to attend North Carolina A&T State University in the fall. This scholarship is sponsored by the Sandhills Chapter of North Carolina A&T State University alumni. The winners of this scholarship are Monasia Anae Kearns and Layla Monique Wall. Our next scholarship is the Robbie Mills Memorial Scholarship. The Robbie Mills Memorial Scholarship was started by the family and co-workers of longtime teacher here at Richmond Senior, Mr. Robbie Mills. We hope to memorialize his commitment and dedication to preparing students for the workforce and help provide financial assistance to deserving students by awarding this one-time $500 scholarship. The recipient of this scholarship is Samuel Zachary Sharp. The next scholarship is the Thomas H. and Mary Hadley Connor Leaf Scholarship. This scholarship was established to provide educational assistance for Richmond County students that have been accepted to attend either UNC Chapel Hill, Duke University, or Salem College. The scholarship is based on academic performance, extracurricular activities, and character. The scholarship award for this year is $6,000 per student and is renewable each year if the requirements are met, making the total scholarship valued at $24,000. The recipients of this scholarship are Noah Cole Jordan and Abigail Grace Terry. Next, Mr. Ransom is up to present our next scholarship. Our next scholarship is the Goodwin Andrews Scholarship. The scholarship began back in 2012 and continues to expand its goal of annual support to a college-bound graduating senior from Richmond Senior High. This $1,000 scholarship is awarded after a selective application process by the awards committee. The recipient of the award this year is Anna Lee Sunshine Wyatt. Our next award scholarship is goes to the Children of Wartime Veterans Scholarship. This is a prestigious award and is for a four-year scholarship established for the qualifying children of North Carolina veterans in appreciation for their service and sacrifices they have made. It is made possible by the Department of Military and Veterans Affairs. The scholarship covers the cost of tuition, has a room and board allowance, essentially providing the student with a free ride. This year, the approximate amount of the scholarship is $100,000. This year's winner will be attending UNC Chapel Hill in the fall. The recipient of this award is Noah Cole Jordan. Our next scholarship is the Impact Scholarship. This scholarship is a one-time $500 award sponsored by a Richmond Senior High School alum alumnus, Justice Ellerby. The recipient of this award is Valerie Nicole Stanley. Our next award is the Johnny Allen Coltrane Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is intended for a student that has long lost a parent, but remains a good, solid student of strong character and possesses good work ethic. This is a one-time $500 scholarship, and this year's recipient is Miss Linda Gray Young. Lydia Gray Young, excuse me. Mr. Butler is up next to present our next scholarship. Next, we'd like to present some of our awards. This first award is the Beta Club Leadership Award. Uh, this is a very important award because Beta Club is expected to do many things in the school. They lead through example and through academics. And this young man also was a leader at the state conventions and the national convention. There's probably no one better to be our Beta Club Leadership Award winner than Thomas Andrew Davis. To go along with that, we have our Beta Club Service Award to be presented. And this is for someone who does above and beyond for service for the Beta Club. And our Beta Club is a very strong service organization. They're highly involved. And this award this year goes to Zaleo Shanice Short. Congratulations. Next, we have our recipients of the 
opportunity to attend the North Carolina Governor's School. These are students who are selected to attend this program in the summer. They must be identified as academically gifted and they must or comprise the top 5% of the North Carolina total school population. Additionally, the students must qualify according to standardized test scores and they must be intellectual juniors and seniors, rising juniors and seniors in North Carolina. Richmond Senior High School is proud to have two members to attend Governor's School. This year's attendees will be Noah Jeffrey Aiken and Savannah Grace Harrison. And we know they'll have a great experience this summer. Normally at this time, our department start presenting the awards for who are the top students in each individual subject among our seniors. So I'm proud to do that for them today. The outstanding senior math student is Ms. Jaden Lynn Johnson. Congratulations to Jaden. Next, in our science department, the outstanding senior science student, Madison Lee Jordan. For our English department, the senior they have selected is the outstanding senior English student, Ariel Lee Spooner. In our social studies department, they have selected as the outstanding senior social studies student, Edie Ray Bryant. We also want to recognize our students who have done very well with the standardized test scores. The senior with the highest ACT score is Evan Lawrence Baxley. And our senior with the highest SAT score is Lydia Gray Young. Our seniors are not the only ones that achieve academically. We also want to recognize our junior marshals. These are our juniors that have scored the highest academically. And typically, they would be assisting with our end of the year projects and programs, and they would help lead our seniors through graduation. Unfortunately, due to the school closing, they're not able to participate in that, but they still need to be recognized, and they will be participating with us at the racetrack at North Carolina Motor Speedway on our graduation event on June 12th. The junior marshals from the class of 2021, Noah Aiken, Georgia Anderson, Tyler Biddle, Kirsten Bruce, Taylor Chapel, Emmy Cooley, Macy Fall, Elena Hall, John Hunter Hancock, Savannah Harrelson, Hannah Henshaw, Carson Jordan, Maggie King, Mitchell Massey, River Meacham, Casey Medina, Kaylee Parker, Natalie Patton, Bradford Pittman, Jonathan Rich, and John Yates. Congratulations to our junior marshals. One of our strongest academic organizations is the National Honor Society. This is an honor that is bestowed upon, bestowed upon a junior or senior who demonstrates outstanding scholarship, strength of character, leadership, and service. To be eligible for membership at Richmond Senior, you must have and maintain a GPA of at least 4.3, and that requires you to take honors or high-level courses starting in the ninth grade. Our chapter also requires students to obtain 40 hours of community service. We applaud their success and efforts, efforts as young scholars at Richmond Senior High School. You bring great honor to your school, your family, and your community. Congratulations to our Honor Society graduates. And they are Derek Allred, Noah Altman, Annie Bartlett, Evan Baxley, Jolie Bowman, Emily Bowie, Drew Davis, Cole Dean, Caroline Freeman, Ellie Furstein, Caroline Green, Amaya Griffin, Vanessa Gutierrez-Overa, Luke Hawks, 
Thomas Hayden, Kennedy Gerald, Jaden Johnson, Madison Jordan, Noah Jordan, Carly Lambeth, Bailey Maltzby, Joseph Miles, Haley Miller, Taylor Oldham, Kim Fan, Anna Pope, Mark Robinson, Josh Rogers, Robbie Shu, Zaleo Short, Kara Riley Simmons, Chandler Sinclair, Ariel Spooner, Valerie Standridge, Hannah Stewart, Austin Talton, Jarday Tillman, Michaela Turner, Layla Wall, and Annalie Wyatt. Congratulations to all our National Honor Society graduating seniors. This year we also wanted to recognize our students that did well academically for their four years with a new distinction. These are our Latin System Awards and they each got a cord and the cord represented something about their GPA and their academic achievement. First we have our Cum Laude Award winners. These students had to achieve at a 4.3 GPA or higher. It was designated by a cord a single color cord they wore at graduation. Our Cum Laude Award winners are Derek Allred, Drew Davis, Ellie Furstein, Caroline Green, Amaya Griffin, Vanessa Gutierrez Alvera, Luke Hawks, Kennedy Gerald, Kevin Leviner, Joseph Miles, Taylor Oldham, Alyssa Pate, Trishon Robinson, Virginia Saez, Robbie Shu, Zaleo Short, Carol, Carol Riley Simmons, Chandler Sinclair, Hannah Stewart, Austin Talton, Jarday Tillman, Michelle Turner, and Lydia Young. Congratulations to our Cum Laude Award students. Next we have the Magna Cum Laude Awards, these students must maintain a 4.5 or better to achieve Magna Cum Laude. And they are Annie Bartlett, Jolie Bowman, Emily Bowie, Coleman Dean, Caroline Freeman, Bailey Maltzby, Kim Fan, Anna Pope, Joshua Rogers, Ariel Spooner, Layla Wall, and Anna Lee Wyman. And finally, we have our summa cum laude Raiders. The magna cum laude had the two colored cord. The summa cum laude will have green, gold, and white, the three color cord, and they must maintain a GPA of 4.7 or higher. The summa cum laude award winners are Evan Baxley, Thomas Hayden, Jaden Johnson, Madison Jordan, Noah Jordan, Carly Lambeth, Haley Miller, and Valerie Standridge. Congratulations to all our Latin system recognition students. Next we have our All Around Senior. This All Around Senior Award is presented in recognition of an outstanding ability in academics, leadership, athletics, service. Recipients of this plaque have excelled in many, many ways in and out of the classroom. They have also served the school in many capacities, both here and in the community. The recipients of the All Around Senior Award this year are Madison Lee Jordan and Thomas Lee Hayden. Congratulations to our outstanding All Around Seniors. Next, we have the Richmond Senior Principals Award given to students who also represent the very best in Richmond Senior High School these students are outstanding seniors who have distinguished themselves by their leadership, achievement, and service. They've also played a special part in helping me make this school the best that we can make it by serving their student body in many, many ways. It is a privilege to present to these two students this cherished award, this year's recipients of their principal award, 
Kara Riley Simmons, and Noah Cole Jordan. Congratulations to both of these students. Next, we have our Distinguished Service Award. This is a tribute to deserving seniors who have given repeatedly of themselves, given their time, given their talents in service to Richmond Senior. Where there is work, they find it. Where there is a challenge, they meet it. They offer no excuses, ask no favors, and they need no reminders of their responsibilities. Their cheerfulness and diligence can only be matched by their humility. It is an honor to present the service awards this year to Jaden Lynn Johnson and Thomas Andrew Davis. Congratulations to both. Throughout the year, our senior students were encouraged to notify the CIC if they have any college acceptance letters, as well as any scholarship money they may receive from any college or university. Students who participated are listed in the back of the book that you'll receive as a memento of the awards ceremony. Many of these students were offered more than one scholarship, but we want to recognize their achievements and the fact that they were recognized by many schools. We're excited about the future of these students. At Richmond Senior High School, we take great pride in assisting them with their educational goals. The program books and certificates and plaques from tonight will be available for pickup at Richmond Senior High School on June 11th and 12th. Ms. Patton will also have information for you at that time about how you can contact your sponsor for your scholarship so that you can receive your scholarship money. This is not the academic awards that we planned. We'd like to have a big dinner and have the parents and the students all united here to celebrate these achievements. But certainly under circumstances, we are happy to be able to provide this video for you to celebrate our award winners. I want to take a moment to thank Ms. Tammy Patton, who works hard all year long, making sure the students turn in their applications and essays and puts all this together so the students have opportunities once they leave Richmond Senior High School. We are certainly proud of the academic achievement of our students, and we're also very thankful to the parents that help support and drive them and to the staff that nurtures them through this journey. Thank you so much for being a part of the Richmond Senior High School Academic Awards Ceremony. Thank you.